Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a six-box super jumbo of the brand new 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball. We've got the case right up here. This is pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it on a Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. we got Preston Last Bot Mojo, Texas Rangers. All right, so let's grab my knife. Let's bust this open. Let's, let's see what we got here. Boom, there it is. We've got two boxes right here, four, and then there's six right over there. Good luck, everyone. So we, we're looking for five Chrome Prospect autographs per box. You know, looking for guys like him, guys like him. All sorts of fun stuff here. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. All right, and you know what? I'm going to drop this link for you guys. This is a 2018 um, MLB.com draft analysis for all the picks in the first round, which is which is really what most of us are looking for. So keep that keep that on your on your uh, desktop there. Keep that link handy so you can kind of get some idea of who these players are. So thanks for joining us, everybody. We just this is just box one. Pick your team two. And our first Bowman Draft baseball break, brand new release, first break of the day. Getting that going now. Jay's in the house. What's up? There's Josh Pruce. EA's here as well. Cubs, A's, Braves for him. Nick Laplant looking for a Nolan Gorman super fractor. All right, <laughs> see ya. All right, so thanks for joining us. Thanks for making us part of your Friday. Oh, nice, Rory. Well, this this is good. Some good uh, good audio for the shop. Wait, are we on the TV? You just put a big uh, you should, Rory at your shop. You should just put a big uh. What, maybe like a 100-inch TV out there? 4K? We should stream in 4K at some point. We'll get there someday, folks. We'll stream in 4K. Once we start streaming in 4K, we'll, 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 we'll be like, the hobby has never looked so good, is what our tagline will be. All right. Now, as you know, paper base, because you saw in the item description, will not ship, so we'll breeze through these. Obviously, this will ship. We're looking for parallels. We're looking for autographs, of course. Five autos near. There's Tim Kate, 90 out of 99. Second round pick. Some franchise futures. So we'll be breezing through this paper right here. And I know some of the papers are have parallels too. Um, there's like a gray border one. I think they still have this year. That's like at a four ninety nine or whatever. If I happen to happen to miss one of those, don't worry. We've got some extra help in the sorting and shipping department, so they'll get to sort all this chrome and paper out as well, which is great. Which should actually make the breaks go a little bit faster too. First autograph of the day. Pick your team one. Super jumbo. 
Brand new Bowman draft is for the Mariners. Logan Gilbert. There it is. Your 14th overall pick, Logan Gilbert. Do we got some info on him? From Stetson University. Excels at missing bats. Can touch 97 on the gun. There you go. So Mariners, that'll be Jeremy Merle with the first autograph of the day, and it's a first rounder. Mariners definitely retooling. This is a uh, college kid, so you'll probably see him in the majors you know, a little bit earlier than, uh, than some of the high school prospects. I brought my, I brought a couple uh, baseball America issues here too, in case we have a little downtime. We can read about some of the some of the top prospects as well. These will also sleeve and top load before they go out, but just in the interest of time, we're just going to slide the slide these over and save them on the side now. We want to try to try to get through this as much as possible. No, he makes hitters swing and miss. Strikes other guys out a lot. We've got Alec Baum for the Phillies. He's on the box. It's a facsimile autograph, but that's pretty cool. Estevan Floriel. We'll breathe through these. Fishing Florida Radio. How's the how's the uh how are the fish jumping out there? There's Sheldon Noose. 182 out of 250. Although someone told me that it's Noosey. I mean, it's purple paper going to the A's. Yeah, we opened the soccer, the two box soccer break yesterday. There's, the video should be up in our list archives. So check it out on our YouTube channel. We've got our next autograph is Jordan Adams. Hang on a second here. So these will randomize left and right. I'll save one of these just so I remind myself to, to do that. Jordan Adams for the Angels, and that'll go out to Jeffrey Newton. And I think he's a first rounder too. He's, he was picked 17th overall for the Angels, outfielder from uh, North Carolina at a Green Hope High School. Green Hope High. I think they're they're gonna pair him with Joe Adele, hopefully. Angels trying to kind of rebuild rebuild their farm system. They need a little rebuilding. I think the, these refractors aren't numbered, by the way, which is why I'm just breezing by those. Another facsimile autograph there. Paper, kind of a the same design. It's very similar design from from what we're familiar with. Nothing too fancy, but I still like it. It's a familiar look, clean look. There's Jared Kalanick out of 4.99. This is one of uh, Rory turned us on to this guy. He's a sixth first rounder, sixth overall, out of Wisconsin. Where Rory? Out of I don't, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher this. Everyone at the shop's gonna be like this total California kid can't say what Wakasha West High School in Wisconsin. So once again, those will be the left right randomizers. And there's Nolan Gorman. That's exactly what Nick wanted. Nickel Plant, you are dismissed from the rest of this break. You got what you needed. You can check back in about an hour later. There you go, man. Cardinals first round pick, 19th overall. Everyone laughed at my attempt. Nice. Hi, Wisconsin. <laughs> That's no third baseman, Nolan Gomer from uh, O'Connor High School in Arizona. Uh, he won the home run derby at the Under Armour All-American game last year. All right, I like, I like that we're getting first rounders so I can read off this analysis from MLB.com. Facsimile autograph, but 35 out of 50, Tristan Casas 
for the Red Sox. It's on a slightly slightly thicker cardstock there. Boston. There he is again. That goes to Sherry, who has the Red Sox. There's Keston Hiuda, Southern California kid in Wisconsin. Well, hopefully playing for the Brewers soon. We got Lawrence Butler out of 150. Oh, it's pronounced Waukesha? I don't know. There are a lot of different letters in there. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't look like it. And we've got Tristan again for the Red Sox. This time, 20 out of 150. It's for Sherry and the Red Sox. Nice blue wave auto. Nice. Late first round pick there. Excellent. If you guys are in uh, fantasy baseball, like keeper leagues or dynasty leagues, these Bowman draft breaks will definitely help you uh, dig up some, some minor league talent. I guess if your league has a minor league spot. Mine does. We got Drew Ellis, purple chrome out of 250 for the Diamondbacks. That'll be for Chris Garosi. And almost done with his first super jumbo. We've got one, two, three, four. So we should be expecting one more autograph out of here. We got Jemai Jones out of 499 for the Angels. Griffin Kona, Jeff Conine's kid. And there it is, Bryce Turing for the Milwaukee Brewers. Brew Crew, who's got the Brew Crew? Rory does. There you go, Rory. There it is, 21st overall pick for the Brewers from out here, from Santiago High School in California. Fire department after me already. Pulling heat. All right, box one in the books. We'll actually set these autos right there. All right, next box. Should I do a Should I do an auto recap in another video, or should we make the people watch the entire hour long video? just as punishment for not watching live. It's like, hey, we had to watch it live. So does everyone else. Maybe I'll be nice this year. It is, it is the Christmas season. I'll be nice. Maybe I'll do an auto recap. So far, so good. I feel like we got a lot of a lot of first rounders out of there, which is always nice. Some good prospect hunting here. Six box super jumbo. Pick your team one. Jay saying some of us have a strict no live viewing rule that has been working swimmingly as of late. It has worked out for you. It's some, it's some good, uh, everyone's got a little superstition, right? It's been working out. I don't know. These breaks are so long. I kind of feel bad making people watch an hour-long video. Softening my stance here on that. Before, I used to be just be like grouchy, Grinch. And just be like, no, just go watch that hour-long video, bro. 
I'll do autograph recaps at the end of every box. Just fast forward through it, man. Ain't no one got time for, for recap videos. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Next Super Jumbo box. Good luck, everybody. Kind of breeze through these. Another facsimile right here. And we've got Chris Paddock at a 250. That'll be for the Padres. Just got the Friars. That'll be Josh Proust with the Padres. A lot of paper here. And Alex Fiedo for the Tigers out of four ninety nine. That'll go to who's got the Tigers and Daniel Patera. I'm looking for a different Tigers pitcher, but parallels are a start. And how about Parker Meadows? Austin Meadows' his brother. I think. No, probably not. Second rounder. No, actually, I'm right. Younger brother of Austin Meadows. There you go. Baseball family there. All right, so that goes to uh, Daniel Patera and the Tigers. Got Austin Meadows' his brother. I feel like we're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, ball players as kids or brothers or whatever, sons playing. Roger Clemens has like four kids in baseball. I think he's got four sons. I think all all of them are in baseball. There's Greg Diekman out of 150 for the Athletics. Got Dante Bichette's kid, Jeff Conine's kid, Vlad Guerrero's kid. Clemens's kids. That looked a little different, but it wasn't. Uh, there, there's Jordan Groshans at a 99 green paper. The next auto is coming up, and it's going to be for the Rangers. Purple Chrome. Owen White, 142 out of 250. He's got, he's got a classic, a nice classic autograph there. For the Rangers, that'll be for Preston, last spot mojo. Second round pick. Nice Gatorade North Carolina player of the year. Oh, and Preston, I saw your question earlier. I don't think, well, I don't know. Does anybody know? Is there a guaranteed super factor in a case? I don't think so. Unless they change it this year, that's traditionally not the case. Again, unless they change the change it up this year. Well, no one really knows these prospects, Preston. Preston's like, is that one good? I don't know. Well, the, the, the beauty of it is no one knows. Prospecting. You know, it seems pretty good. North Carolina Gatorade Player of the Year, right? Three sports standout. So you never know. I mean, generally the the uh, the first rounders, you know, are pretty are pretty good. Once you get past first or second round, you know, then it's kind of hit or miss. You got to kind of have to wait until see how they do. I mean, a lot of these guys. When was he drafted? Yeah, he was drafted in 2018. So he's probably you can probably look up his uh, minor league stats. Oh, actually, they're right there. That's his. High school stats? High school stats are not available. But you can look up his stats now. And you can kind of start seeing how he did in his first professional year in the minors. You know, and start tracking how they move up the ranks of the farm system. There's Ford Proctor, Purple Paper to 250. And then if they start doing well, you know, you can start to track value on a secondary market and see what happens. And there's Ryan Jeffers, 51 out of 99. Green Chrome autograph for the Twins. Eric Leal with the Twinkies. I 
Um, I, I, I want to say that prob- generally speaking, top five guys drafting the top five or ten or maybe players that are drafted to like a, a club with a big fan base or something like that, those will have more immediate secondary market value, I've noticed, over the years. But who knows? I mean, any one of these guys, you know, can fly up the farm system and suddenly become major leaguers and be incredible, you know? Ray, yeah, I did lie to you. Well, I did not intentionally lie to you about Revolution Basketball. No one tells me anything. I don't know. I look on the site just like you guys. I wake up in the morning and I go to jazbeescasebreaks.com and I'm like, oh, looks like we are getting that today. Surprise, surprise for me too. All right, that's right, Newton. I'm sure most of these guys probably played, so you probably can look up most of these guys, that's for the Giants. Jake Wong. Kind of see how they did. Oh, and there's Ryan Rollison. It's a nice auto. Ryan Rollison for the Rocks. Dane. Dane Reynolds. Reynolds with the Ryan Rollison Rocky. 22nd overall pick. It's Cody Clemens. That's a Clemens. I think Casey Clemens is with the Blue Jays. I'm sure there's... I think there's another Clemens in the Astros organization, maybe? Should have one more autograph here on this side. And there's Shane McClanahan. Shane McClanahan for the Rays, now 021. Mark with that one. There you go, Mark, on the board. 31st overall pick. Must be a compensation draft pick, sound looks like. And James saying that, what, one just grad, a Clemens graduated from Texas? Yeah, there, there, there's, there's some out there. All right, another five autographs in the books. Let's see if we can see, find this kid right here. Oh, there's some Braves right here. We already know about those guys. Should probably, probably renew my subscription to Baseball America. I kind of didn't think I needed it. And then I got the subscription and it was really cool, especially during the baseball season. But then in the offseason, once football started, I, I like didn't renew my subscription, but now I kind of want it again. I'll probably just subscribe again. I thought, I thought uh, subscribing would make website access kind of a little more interesting, but I don't know. It turned out I didn't use it as much as I thought I would. But the content in the print edition is really great. All right, yeah, I've, I've got no pull here, Mr. Mike Daddy. Nothing. Just hang out with you guys and open up stuff. All right, after this box, we'll be halfway through the break. So... I'm making some decent time here. The six box jum uh, the six box super jumbos, I feel like are a little bit shorter than the eight box jumbos. 
fewer packs for me to open up. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, even if Bowman Draft is not your thing, we've got we've got the store reloaded with a bunch of stuff. So check it out. And some new stuff too. Alright, we'll go left to right. Good luck, everybody. There's uh, Taryn Vavara, Vavra, out of $4.99. Looking for this guy's autograph. Number one overall pick. There you go. Josh Proust is saying, Baseball America hands out my favorite read when I travel. Yeah, actually, I've got a... I've got like a small stack of Baseball Americas that I have not kind of read cover to cover yet. And there's your Nick Madrigal, Josh Pruce, Chicago White Sox. So I, I am traveling for Christmas, so put those in the backpack. There he is. Round one, your fourth overall pick. He is from Oregon State University, a beaver. MLB.com saying uh, MLB.com saying he's the best pure hitter in this draft. He need a cool 406. Wow. For the college team. Maybe only five foot eight, but size isn't the issue because he can hit. Joe P. Uh, no, we don't reserve teams for anybody, Joe P. Especially for you, Joe. Imagine. Imagine if I did that. Man, there'd be there'd be favoritism talk all over the place. They're shed long to 150 for the Reds. Uh, <laughs> Joe P's like, they don't care if they take care of their VIPs. We don't have VIPs because everyone's a VIP, Joe P, in our hearts and minds. That's right, Joe P. That's what we're about. All right. There's Jesus Luzardo out of 150. He's from, uh, he's from Parkland, Florida, where that shooting was. He did a lot for that community there. Good kid. EA with the A's. And there's Lenny. Lenny Torres. Lenny Torres going to the tribe, Chris Garosi, with the Indians. Late first round pick. <laughs> Rory's a VIP. He wants a super frag. Does I don't think I don't know if it's I don't know if it works like that, Rory. I'm not sure if it works like that. Here's the draft analysis that uh, that I'm looking at right now, folks. So if you want to take a look at that yourselves, that's pretty much where I'm. I haven't memorized all this information. You know, this is me just looking at that bit of research right here. I don't know, makes a break like this go by a little bit faster. And we all learn something in the end, right? I'm um, going to Vegas, visiting my sister, Josh Pruce. Going to check out the new Raider Stadium across the street from Mandalay Bay. Try to sneak in, maybe. Take some, uh, take some exclusive photos for at Jaspie's Breaks, our Twitter and Instagram. Some exclusive photos from inside the construction zone. Probably be maybe hanging out at the, the Orleans Sportsbook. And there's Jake McCarthy. 34 out of 250. Chris Garosi with the Diamondbacks. Purple Chrome Auto for the Snakes. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I'll probably have to get to the airport like two hours early. That's all right. I'll just wake up early, go to the airport, hang out with my Baseball Americas. Baseball Americas and, uh, and whatnot. And my Nintendo Switch. I'm, I'm, I, 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 traditionally I drive, but this year I'm flying just to maximize time with my sister and my cousins. Um, flying in, uh, flying black, back in on Wednesday the 26th, ladies and gentlemen, just in time for another new release day. I think there's like two big new releases on that day, contenders, football and basketball, I think. There's uh, Jeremiah Jackson out of 50. Nice one for the Angels. That's going to go to Jeff Newton. Jay Metz, Matz is asking, are you, Hi, Joe, are you breaking any playbook football tonight? Yes. And there's Caden Grenier. Gren, Grenier? Maybe. Uh, that goes to Alfonso and the O's. Thirty seventh overall pick. Those are probably some sort of supplemental or compensatory round or something like that. There's Andres Jimenez. Remember his auto? How terrible it was, but in later products, gotta gotta give credit to him. In future products, autograph much better. Looks great actually. Brandon Marsh, two fifty. All paper, and there's Kayvon Jackson to two fifty purple paper for the Royals. Royals fan Gilo was uh was telling me that he thinks that his Royals had a pretty good draft this year. Shed Long. Oh, Joe P. Did you meet him? Arizona Fall League? Not 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 a not a dynamic personality. He's kinda high up in that organizational rankings. All right. Was that the I think they shorted us an auto in this. That's on average, I guess. All right, next super jumbo box. Yeah, you guys, did did I miss one? Did you guys see me miss one? Someone would have said something if I missed one. The autos are hard to miss. No, I see fourteen autos here. We did three boxes. Should be five per box. Someone would have noticed. It guarantees five autos? Box might be a the box might be a liar. Yeah, I don't. Hmm. 
We'll double check again, but I feel like they're kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I don't see it, guys. I mean, it would have been in this pile by now if I missed it. previous box. Uh, well, we'll we'll go through we'll go through his again. We'll go through those again. <laughs> yeah. We'll go we'll go through this again. We'll find we'll find it if there is one. Right, Rich saying someone pie, someone at the what at the factory? All right, good luck everybody. What happens? Bud's asking, what's the best pull out of here? Generally, it would be your first overall pick. And a super fractor version of that. So that would be, in this case, would be Casey Mize for the Tigers. It's your first overall. All right. Maybe we'll get a bonus auto out of here. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> or, or as Josh is saying, Whatever autos I hit, that's the best pull. But it is true. You can get the best team out of all these things and not even hit a thing, but it's the teams that hit that are the best teams. There's Grant Levine or Lavigny. No? Let's put a French twist on there. JMS says what? Super fractures are one in a billion packs? Seems like it, right? It's not. It's autograph superfractor one out of every fourteen thousand six hundred and ninety-four packs. So there you go. A regular super, a non-auto superfractor, 
one out of 1,312 packs. Doesn't seem impossible. I guess you can start dividing those up and see how many, what the per case is on that. There's O'Neill Cruz to 150. And we got Travis Swaggerty for the Pirates, two out of 99, green paper. There is Grayson Janista for the Bravos. That goes to EA and the Braves. Paper there. JMS says so a pack is ten what ten bucks. You have to hundred and forty thousand dollars or forty five thousand dollars in product to get an auto super fract. No, not really, JMS. The idea is you pay ten bucks one time and get it out of that first pack. And then gold profit. That's the idea. There's Lurie Tejada out of 250. That's a lottery ticket. Well, yeah, welcome to the hobby. <laughs> And there's Trevor Larnack. I don't think it's a big con. <laughs> you know, you were, you're mainly chasing this. You're mainly chasing just the regular autos and parallels. And if you stumble into a super fractor, you consider yourself lucky. But I don't think people are, I don't think anyone's sitting there going, let's spend $145,000 so I can chase like a, a single super fractor. It's all luck. But that's half the fun. I mean, if, if that's not fun, then, you know, then it's not for, this is not for you. There's Jake Wong to 250. Right, yeah, Josh Bruce right. Then the guy has to, the guy has to make the majors next too. But that's half the fun with this prospecting. That's half the fun. And why these Bowman draft so popular every year. If you buy cases of this, value of those per box go up every year. That's for the Astros. That's for the Giants. Base cards are worthy. I mean, listen, you'd be surprised at how many people. There's Jared Kellenick again. Guys ready? From Wakasa, Wisconsin. Got nailed it. Nailed it. That goes to the Metropolitans. That'll be for D Mac. Darren McKenzie with that one. The base cards, these paper bays, even though we don't, just for sorting shipping purposes, we don't ship those out, but. A lot of people still collect that paper base, believe it or not, all around the country. That's why they include them. A lot, and that's a lot of people do that too, JMS. Buy, buy unbusted cases, sealed cases, and just sit on it until the main guy out of here turns into, you know, turns into a superstar or something like that. So that'll be a randomizer at the end. This will be a separate randomizer because it's serial numbered. 
A lot of people collected 87 tile. I, I think it's a little different nowadays. Not exactly an apples to apples comparison. Hobbies changed a lot. A lot has changed since 1987. There's Griffin Conine to 499. Son of Jeff Conine. There it is. Uh, the base cards get donated to kids. Actually, we recently we did something a little different. We we ended up selling some of the base cards, I think, to some dude who wanted to just buy like monster boxes of stuff. There's Nico Herner. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's for the Cubs. And we put that money towards some kids charity. But they end up they end up getting donated one way or the, one way or another. Yeah, I go I go and grind them out five cents at a time at the uh, at the at the flea market. Ain't no one got time for that. All right, we're almost there, folks. It's two boxes, two super jumbo boxes to go. This is Picker Team 1. Uh, I don't know. No one said that anything has sold out as of yet, so maybe nothing sold out at the moment, but let's see. We'll go through orders after this. I know we had another super jumbo break that was close to filling. We had eight box jumbo breaks close to filling on jazbeescasebreaks.com, so check it out. This break should be done in about 15, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, JMS, yeah, HTC is definitely for you then. But a lot of people still like the base card. They, they, don't, they don't do this just to do it. There's a reason. You think Tops would waste money on printing base cards if, it, if people weren't still wanting it? Now, people still, be, you'd be surprised. We went to a Tops Industry Conference, Arizona, earlier this year. And a lot, lot, of, lot of guys around the country, a lot of old hobby shop owners whose guys still come in, buy a box of Bowman Draft baseballs, make, build the sets out of all the paper and all that. And it's a thing. Hobby shops every year, you know, even ones that don't break, group break like us, you know, rely on the customers to come in, old school guys, new school guys, you know, buying up boxes of Bowman Draft baseball, building sets and all that sort of stuff. It's a thing. But yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of the hobby. Back in, when, like you were referencing, 1987, how many baseball sets were there? That's it. But the beauty of 2018, there's Caden uh, Grenier out of 499. Refractor Auto for the O's. It's another one for Alfonso. Beauty of 2018 is that there's a lot more variety. Everyone can pick and choose, and they can collect in their own way. And I think that's the beauty of the hobby. No one can tell you how to collect. There's no right or wrong way of collecting. This this is trash to you, not trash to other people. TJ, what's going on? Thanks. It's Bowman Draft Day. Got to got to rep the Dodgers Double A team, Tulsa Drillers.
There you go. Rich Schmidt saying, hey, every every car show I go to has guys searching long boxes. Yep, it's still a, still a thing. This is, you know, this kind of sort of stuff is Tops' way of acknowledging that side, that side of the hobby. There's Nate Person out of 499 for the Blue Jays. Pearson Person? And there's our next autograph, Alec Thomas. That is for Chris G and the Diamondbacks. There's Keston Hyuda out of 150. Big prospect for the Brew Crew. That looked a little different, but it's not. It's true, Boombox. You're right. I think I think we I think we do get a little spoiled like just opening up like hit driven products like Dynasty and Flawless and NT and you know Triple Threads baseball and whatnot. But yeah, I mean there's there's still still a big part of the population that you know that buying a blaster box still a big deal. Getting a you know non auto number card is still fun for them too. There's Brady Singer. That's a big one for the Kansas City Royals. Randy Ramos. Your 18th overall pick. Nice one for the Royals. Yeah, Rory, I think we've only seen one Brewers auto so far. And we got for the Dodgers, Jaron Kendall, gold paper out of 50. Yes, sir, TJ. This is a pick your team one, super jumbo pick your team one. I don't think anything else is sold out after this one. So we'll go through orders after I go through the last bit here. There's Jake Wong for the Giants. That's going to go to Lee. You know what? I didn't. I did not set a timer. I should have. I'm just going to look at the timestamp when I'm done with this and then see if I could beat that the next time. There's Alec Baum, purple chrome for the Phillies. Although we got sidetracked, TJ, because one of the boxes didn't was missing an autograph, so I had to go back and look through you know, another box worth of cards was not there, but that set us off track a little bit. Ian Anderson had a 99, third overall a few a couple years ago. Bravos with that green paper.
And there's our fifth auto, Will Banfield. That goes to Matt Bodner and the Miami Marlins. Ma Matthew with the Miami Marlins. There you go. Good, some good alliteration. So are we, are, we, are we voting for the recap, Landon? I don't want to do a separate video. Should I just do it at the end of the video? I'll just do it at the end of the video. We don't want to make them watch it, Landon? You guys had to sit through it. Watch this live. For, those of, for the people who missed it, we should make them watch the entire video. No? Is that, Landon doesn't like that? I, f I feel like we should make them watch the video. You, Landon, you invested your valuable time watching this break. Everyone who's in this break watching live right now, they invested their valuable time. What about the ones who missed it? We should make them go back and watch it again. I mean, they could fast forward, I guess. They can watch at double speed, too, the replays. But we won't give them that heads up. We'll be like, I, Landon, Landon, you should be like, I had to sit through it. So do you. Joe recaps at the, end every, at the end of every box. Just fast forward to the end of each box. Got to put a little time investment into it. It's a tough love, Mike Rinderman, exactly. A nice Kershaw, by the way, I saw that. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. This is our first break of the day. 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball brand new release. A lot of prospect hunting. So welcome prospectors. You guys are like panning for gold in the Northern California Sierras. You guys are like that. You guys are like silver miners. Pikes Peak in Colorado. You guys are like Alaskan oil hunters in the, in the, in the Northern wilds of Alaska. Searching for gold in the Yukon. This is what this is what prospecting is. Hopefully the price of gold is still good. By the time you lay claim to your stake of land. Buy all your supplies. Alright, here we go. Good luck. Whoa, Jay's cards wants a recap of the auto, the colored paper, base chrome inserts, and the base cards. Yeah, that, that, that recap will be uh, uploaded shortly after this break. I got you. Yeah, and TJ, no, Do no Dodger autos in this, I think. We we're only saying the Dodgers for like $13. Need a little bit more in the Super Jumbo, but... Yeah, I think their first-round pick never ended up signing. Their, their late first-round pick... I guess they couldn't find anyone else to put in here. Out of 499, Lawrence Butler to 499. It's for the A's. Nola Cardboard in the house. And there's Mason at Denneberg out of 499. That's for the Nationals. Courtney Bishop. There you go, Courtney. Nice Nat coming at you. 27 late first round pick for you. It looks like he's working up a lather, right? Look at that. You know, I actually didn't. We lost Drew Jackson in the Rule 5 draft yesterday. Hmm. That's the, those, that Rule 5 draft is tough. You gotta, gotta figure out which ones to keep on the roster and not, and 
the guys that pick up people in Rule 5 drafts, I think you have to keep them on the on your roster for the entire year. There's Alec Hansen. Actually, I'm not quite sure why that exists. But there's something coming up here. I'm sure there's a good reason for it. All right. The autograph is Shane McClanahan, 122 out of 250. It's a nice looking card there. That goes to now 021, Mark, the Tampa Bay Rays. There you go, nice class of 2018 auto here. Nice. It's a good looking one. So he went, Drew Jackson went to the Phillies, who traded him to the Orioles for Richie Martin, who was also a Rule 5 guy. That's an A's guy, right? Or was he an A's guy, Richie Martin? There's Lurie Tejada out of 250. Didn't we get, didn't we get Drew Jackson from the Mariners? It's hard to keep track of all these transactions. And we got some purple paper, Dane Dunning for the White Sox. And there's Lucan Baker. Lucan Baker. He could be playing with. Harrison Bader someday, Nick LaPlante. Luke with Darth Bader playing together? That's too much. The Star Wars night in St. Louis would be awesome. All right, should be two more autos to go, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team one. Six-box super jumbo from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Good luck, everybody. There's Hunter Green to 499. Big pick for the Reds last year in 2017. Paper goes to Corey K. There's Jared Kalanick. And there's Griffin Conine, autograph for DMAC and the Blue Jays. Jeff Conine. Can I remember Jeff Conine? Old Marlin, Jeff Conine. Was he in a, maybe an expansion team guy? Like, was he first year Marlin? Year one guy for the Marlins? Maybe. Or maybe it was later. There's Ezekiel Pagan out of 99. That goes to the Cubs, EA, with the green chrome. And we got Ryan Rollison out of 150, blue paper for Dane and the Rockies. And there's our final autograph, Joe Gray for the Brew Crew. And that is for Rory and the Brewers. 
Maybe brother of Jonathan Gray. Come on, back of the baseball card. No, it does not say anything about him being the brother of Jonathan Gray, but there's Joe Gray right there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining the break. Here's a quick end of break recap because I'm a nice guy because it's Christmas. Could have made everybody watch the whole the whole thing, but there it is. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate getting in. That was six box super jumbo. Pick your team one of the brand new 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball. More in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.